Football brings you the divisional round of the NFL playoffs and is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Bucks and the Falcons on Sunday night primetime. The NFL playoffs are on EA Sports, and we've got a packed house here at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in downtown Atlanta. Just ahead, we'll decide the second entrant to next week's NFC title game, and we've got a great one in store. As it'll be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers taking on the Atlanta Falcons. Hello, everyone. As the postseason continues here on EA Sports, we're pleased to bring it to you. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And who has the edge here? You got one side that had some extra rest, but another comes in off a win last week in the wild card round. And it's funny, depending on which team you are, you say that that's an advantage. You'll take the rest. You'll take the week off. Get your guys healed up a little bit and ready to go. But that team is coming in off of a win last week. They're really excited to keep playing. They feel like they are hot and ready to go. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. So out come the Bucks now for their first drive. They'll be led out by the man who proclaims to be from a whole pack of Badgers, came into the league back in 2012, Russell Wilson. And if he and his guys want to spring the upset here in the second round and move on, they've got to focus on the good that they did in the wild card victory. At the top of that list, protecting the football. Got a little careless last week. A few got away from him. Might not be so fortunate this time around. And if that's the case, they'll end up going home. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down. Even though he's still in the pocket, he had a receiver out to his side, so just put that in a spot where the only people who can make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. He's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. I know it was a game, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of the play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held into an okay game. Five yards, and that means they come up short as they're going to have to punt here on the opening drive. Yeah. Fourth down, here's Jay Camarda on to punt for the box. Fielded just inside the 20. It's a 47-yard punt, return of six. And the Falcons will be taking over first and ten. So here are the Falcons now as they get set for their opening possession. And a glance here at the man calling the plays under center, their 6'4 quarterback. For a guy still in his second year in the NFL, this is obviously a big spot for him to try and fill. Able to engineer the victory in the wild card round last weekend. That's got to give him confidence. It's got to elevate the confidence of his teammates as well. But as he said after the win, things are only going to get tougher from there. He understands the situation he's in. He understands what's ahead of him in this one. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Again, it's Robinson. Runs through the contact. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. They get nine yards back on the run there. And they're left with a much more makeable third and two. Robinson will try to pick it up. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. And that gain of nine buys him a new set of downs. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. As it completes to Jackson Smith and Jigba. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. They'll give him four yards there, and it's second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Back to the ground with Robinson. And he'll go down at the 28. Now what a first down pickup of eight. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. 
had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Out right to Smith and Jigba. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Out of the gun, they give to Robinson. And a pickup of about four down inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Now back to throw. Ooh. And this is caught for a Falcon touchdown. Bijan Robinson from eight yards out. And the Falcons are on the board first here in this division round matchup. Two able to connect on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and he'll take over at the 25. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. And for them, maybe a little carryover from last week's game. They got the win on the road in the wild card round, on the road here again in the divisional round, but they're hanging tough. Hey, cute little music, right? Every time. Again. I mean, this has been kind of the mantra they're under right now, and they can't change it. The season dictated what would happen with them, right? They had to go on the road for the first round for the playoff. They're on the road again, and sometimes teams get really comfortable with that. Not only the idea of going on the road and shocking the world, but just, hey, it's just us. We don't worry about outside distractions. It's just us. Let's go play. It becomes that us against the world mentality, doesn't it? And, and while it may be overplayed, you know, in the media, it's real when it comes time to play ball. And it's complete to Mitchell. And a good you. job defensively. They stop him short of the first at the 32. But following the play now, they're going to stop the clock here as a man is shaken up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Pulled in at the 24. Call that a 44-yard punt, five on the return. And it will be Falcon football. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons offense. This could end up being a pretty big drive. I mean, look, yes, it's early in this game, but they scored the touchdown. They got the stop. And now if they could get in the end zone here again, CD, they could grab an early stranglehold on this one. Yeah, they certainly can, and that's what you're looking for. Where's the advantage? Can you gain it? Can you press it? Now for them, finishing it off, because right now it's out there for them. They've just got to go seize it. Second down and a run by Robinson. And he'll get this up over the 25 to 26. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Third down and 13. Back to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Back to throw now on first down. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Here's second and ten. Robinson on a give right side. And a pretty good 
burst there as they get this across midfield and down to the 46. 43 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 46. He's going to wind up and air it out. And incomplete on the deep ball. Well, the gap man coverage on the outside and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. And he's going to be met at about the 43. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A good decision in the end. The pull and run gets him nine yards and a first. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Back now in Atlanta, second quarter action. The Falcons with the football as they've got it with a first and ten. Falcon on the field. The medical staff will attend to him and we will step aside. Robinson up the middle. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Here's a screen for Robinson. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Give him eight yards on the play, and they pick up the first. Well, they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. Touchdown, Falcons! Two touchdowns. Cool for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it was the tight end Kyle Pitts finishing it all off on the touchdown reception. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. And the Buccaneers getting ready to go as they take the field. They trail early on the road in the playoffs. Not a great combination as they've got it first and 10. They'll start the drive with a give to White. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. A handoff from Mitchell running left. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. How about the big guy there showing some agility? He just flipped from his D tackle position in order to make that play. On third down, Wilson. And he is caught. And he takes this up to the 40 yard line. Fucking the fucking Alabama. Corral. In the wild card win the last week, he had just two catches, and now he's got his first one here. First down, here's White. And he maneuvers up the middle for three, and it's second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down, but a nice little game. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and third and one now. Throw right. 
right side, taken in by Godwin. And he is going to have a box first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people have to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. Fair to say, it hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. they got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Throwing again here, Wilson. Another catch by Wright. Back-to-back -back plays. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. And he missed it. It's no good. These playoff games have a tendency to be tight. You have to wonder if that missed field goal could haunt them later. Yeah, we're always looking for the key plays, right? The ones that we're going to magnify. Usually those happen in the second half or later in the game. This might be the key play of the game showing up here in the first half. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. It has been about as perfect of a start to this game as these guys could have asked for, Charles. They've scored on their first two drives. They still haven't given anything up on the other side of the ball. So they can already make this a three-score game here if they can come away with points on this drive. Yeah, they're almost pushing them to the brink, aren't they, partner? Almost to the point now where it's a loss of words for me, which I know would excite all of our viewers, but you're just not supposed to see that type of dominance so quickly in a game like this. Everything they've done has been working so far. Offense, defense, you name it, it's going well for them. They'll look to throw here on first down. Oh, oh, and it's incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive. But a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. They'll run this one right to Robinson. And able to get about three as he's taken down right at the 20. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Ah. And this pass broken up. Well, the contact well in time there. And now fourth down. And we'll see Young Way Koo now for the Falcons. Koo knocks this one through the post. And that will extend their lead even further. So no problems at all on that one. And, and you know there's virtually no win. This is a kicker's dream here tonight. It absolutely is, isn't it? So to me. With no wind, it should be a passer's dream as well, yeah. right? But in this case, the defense held out. They had to force the field goal. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Now the Buccaneer offense gets set to take over. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you down. want to. No, but oh, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you, just, you, called can go. I think you just called it desperation time. I think <laughs> yeah. you did. But let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating to use a boxing analogy. To throw is Wilson. Hunter Henry brings it in. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Wilson. So throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Jake Camarda sent on now to punt this away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. This is taken at the 18. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. A very good return that time. 18 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. 
very good starting field position for the Falcons offense as they come up first and 10 at their 36 yard line. Now a dump off here complete and he'll get up to the 43 yard line. That'll go for a gain of seven and that's going to bring up second down. The defense is ready for the back to leak out and even had a second player waiting to double him up. If you're going to commit to doubling a back, you better prevent a completion but give him credit. Here extra go, determination, extra effort. Turn it into a successful play. Now it's the backup, Mariota. Short <laughs> throw caught by Pitts. And Pitts is going to pick up the Falcons' first down as he'll be brought down just shy of midfield. They get six on the pickup there as the drive continues. something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball and they keep making the connection. Hand off to Robinson out of the shotgun. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. They're going to hurry back to the line now. They'll look to throw now on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Now he bats it away and it falls down incomplete. Anytime a ball is thrown in the middle of the field, it's popped up in the air. I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. Sets up the screen to Robinson. <laughs> and he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. And we'll see Young Way Koo now for the Falcons. He hit his first. Now this one from 48 yards away. Koo knocks this one to the post. And that will extend their lead even further. So this lead charge is just continuing to swell here in the first half. It's interesting, when we talked to them prior to the game, they told us that their game plan was take no prisoners, and they've lived up to it so far because everything has worked. No guarantee that'll continue, but all in all, this coaching staff's got to be very pleased by what they've seen. Aku just hit the field goal, now he kicks off. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Well, the Bucks going to take over now late in this first half. And with a three-score deficit staring him in the face, they might have to press the issue here and try to get points out of this drive. On first down, Wilson. And he is going to lose yardage here. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. Right back to Mitchell on second Good down. Job, and he will perhaps get back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. And time has run out on this first half. So we've come upon halftime here in this NFC Divisional Round matchup. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. Both these teams, no doubt, making their final adjustments as we speak. Which of these two teams is going to advance to the NFC title game next Sunday? To find out, let's get you back to Brandon God. Ooh. 
Rams. All right, coach, again. thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. A trip to the NFC title game hanging in the ballot. Second half action back underway. This fielded right at the goal line. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Falcons offense ready to get going to begin this third quarter. And they're in the position they expected to be in. They've got the lead, home crowd behind them, and they're looking toward making that next step in these playoffs. And I think a key for them is to put together some good, long, extended drives. Work to run it a little more with that big offensive line. I'm not saying get away from throwing the football. That's still working. But they run it more effectively. It may get even bigger plays in the passing game. On the give, here's Robinson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 96 yards rushing for him now in the ball game as he is trying to will his guys to the championship round next weekend. Excuse me. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And this will be caught by his big wide receiver. Second and seven. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Oh, they want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Out of the gun now on third down. And he's got his target. That's complete. And he's got this down to the 35. Five catches for him in that first half, and that's number six that we just saw, and also a first down. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And he's able to mow his way down to the 16-yard line. That is now 19-yard gains on back-to-back -back plays. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second-half blowout material. Back to Robinson now on first down. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Tackle made by Devondre Campbell. This is second and eight. They'll set up a throw. This to Pitts, and he's got him. Touchdown, Atlanta. Kyle Pitts, beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Falcons continue to show why it pays to play at home in the postseason as they add on to their lead. Extra point by Kuhl, up and good. And that stretches the lead all the way up to 27. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Here comes the Buccaneers offense. They get their first reps of the second half. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. That's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. And, partner, you know as that team gathers, they send each other. You never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. And Evans will have a Bucks first down as he's up to the 40-yard line. <clears throat> Off the play fake, here's Wilson. Short pass caught by Henry. So the completion good for just three. And that'll make it second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. And they'll come up second and seven. Play action. Now Wilson. Open man here, the tight end Henry. 
And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. First down, Buccaneers. From the gun, it's Wilson. And his throw is going to be incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Play action. It's Wilson. Rolling to his right. Shoves him away. Breaks the tackle. He's got one to run. The rushing numbers for Wilson may be down from earlier in his career, but he's still a threat to go, showing it there, picking up the first down. They go play action now. Wilson. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Fast, slow, it doesn't matter. If you give a quarterback enough room to escape, he can hit you for a big game. You've got to give him a little more focus moving forward. First down, here's Mitchell. Yeah, he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. Brought down on the play by Trenton Simpson. Second and nine. Brings up second and nine. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down. Just inside the 20 and the 19. Emmanuel Ogba that time, able to drop him for a loss. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. The third down battle won by Atlanta's defense. Solid coverage. This has kind of been the story all night long, hasn't it? An inability to really get much done on third downs, and it's costing him. York able to send this one through, and that will cut the lead down to three scores at 24. I'm kind of surprised by that, that they kicked the field goal. I guess you get some points, but this deficit third quarter, I don't know. Yeah, I don't either. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. When you're down that much, kicking a field goal, does it feel a little bit maybe waving the white waving flag the and just, just want to get that. out of here? Yeah, I, I think you got to go ahead and try and get some bigger points on the board. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Well, B. John Robinson and the Falcons back onto the field. He's up over 100 yards, and he'll be looking to get in the end zone again. That's a tremendous nose for it, doesn't he? The ability to pile up yardage and find the end zone, that's the combination you want in your runner. That's a combination any coach wants, and we'll see if he can find that end zone. And off to the races, down the right side. in the regular season, get his first touchdown here in the playoffs. Perhaps the week off energized him. A great article in the paper this morning basically saying that they would not have won the division without him, and he's not their only piece, but I think that's a fair statement. It's easy to say it this way. He's their main guy. Koo able to connect on the extra point, and the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. So out come the Bucks now. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the truck in order to get over to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. They go play action with Wilson. This is caught by Evans. 
I can't Down believe they're gonna fucking fast. Jesus Christ. Mike Evans, 68 yards, and the Bucks are able to cut into that deficit. As a fan, is there anything the prettier like than a well-executed post route? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? Extra point by York is up and good, and the lead is down to 24. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. B. John Robinson leading the offense out for another drive. He's closing it. Let's go ahead and take him out. Jalen being a guy. Third down. Yards on the ground with the fourth quarter still to come. We're in the third. Good shot to get there. And now he's got to make sure he convinces his coaching staff to leave him out there and keep touching the ball because when you've had that kind of a day, there is a tendency to think about getting him out and saving some of it. it. Running backs never like to save the other. You know he's tapping his quarterback on the shoulder. I'll take the ball again, please, right? Not turning down any carries. First play of the drive, excellent run. Just sets up wash, rinse, repeat. Another first down. And space tough to control. come by there as he'll get maybe a yard to the 37. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. And here's a handoff out of the gun. And he'll be taken it's down on, after a decent gain, and that will bring us to the end of this third quarter of play. One quarter remains for a trip to the NFC title game. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. Now back to throw. Work in the middle of the field and he's got a man complete. Touchdown, Falcons! Play there. 58 yards. And the Falcons are moving closer to a date now. The NFC Championship game is they're able to extend this fourth quarter lead. So momentum, another touchdown. They're looking like the number one seed that they earned throughout the year. Looking pretty dominant right now. We knew the road to the Super Bowl would run right through this stadium. Somebody's going to have to come in here and beat these guys. Good luck. I don't think it's happening this weekend. No, definitely not this weekend. And for anyone else out there, bring your game. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. Now the Buccaneer offense set to take over again. Their hopes of advancing past this divisional round hanging by a threat, if that, as they begin here with a first and ten on the wrong side of the scoreboard. From the shotgun, Wilson. Well, a tough throw there across his body. It's incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Second and ten now, Wilson. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after their last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. And he'll hit the slant route. That's caught by Cooper. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. To throw again is Wilson. He gets it to Cooks. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, 
Something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open. That makes things tough for guys trying to get to the football. Call it a gain of a yard. And now one yard to go on third down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third and one, Wilson. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a box first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Now Wilson. That is caught. It's Chris Godwin. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That'll go as a pick up of 32 on the catch and run. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. They run over center with Mitchell. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Jadavian Clowney there on the stop. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. And he's going to hook up with his big tight end, complete. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential. But when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. So they need six yards here on third down. They're two for two on third down tries so far on this drive. To throw is Wilson. And in for the Buccaneers touchdown. 14-yard touchdown. And the Buccaneers get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth-quarter deficit. As a general rule, quarterbacks don't want to lock in on a receiver before the ball is snapped. But in this case, based on the matchup he thought he was going to get, it was favorable for his tight end. He locked in on him early and found him for a touchdown. New York now for the extra point. And the lead is down to 24. So the drive goes 75 yards, 10 plays. And it's all finished off with a touchdown by Tampa Bay. The Bucks ready for the kickoff. And here we go. It's in the air. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And they have made this look easy. There's not supposed to be anything easy about the NFL playoffs, but this lead, yes, they're at home, but this has been impressive. And we hear all the time when upsets happen, teams go on the road, that maybe home field advantages are all it's cracked up to be. But you and I both know the reality is teams really fight hard to get it. Why? You don't ever have to change routine. Everything's familiar going into the game. It makes things easier, and that has paid off for them in a big way in this contest. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Well, fourth quarter with a three-score lead here, Charles, but they're still going back to the air and looking for more points. Well, with this game well in hand, it's an opportunity for the guys to come off the bench and get a chance to play. And a lot of coaches, they want to run their full playbook no matter who's on the field. And this will not get close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the 26. Just a one-yard pickup on the play, and it'll be fourth down. The Falcons send out their punter. Always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter. He'll look to set up his blockers. An eight-yard return there after a punt of 47. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. 
Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Here's Wilson. And this is caught by Evans. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Wilson. And that's complete to Cooks. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Good work after the catch. Gets him 15 and a first down. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory. No one to turn this time, and he goes down. Sack back at the 29. He couldn't get rid of it. He takes a sack for a loss of six to bring up second <coughs> down. Throwing is Wilson. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. Down several scores and playing behind the chains is not the way to have success in this one. Right now, if you're the offensive line, your big concern, protecting your quarterback and giving him a chance to try and throw something downfield to pick up the needed yardage. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. The Bucs try it on fourth down, but come up empty. And the Falcons' defense stands tall. They'll get the football back. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. 16 yards right off the bat at a first down. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Let's go out on the right now. That one looks like he'll throw here. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. It'll be a gain of five. And it'll be second down. And now here's a carry hitting left. And he'll be taken down at the 34. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. Secure a spot in the conference championship, and now you can start to smell it at this point in the season, can't you? You really can because the focus has been one game at a time, not looking ahead. But when you get to the conference championship game and you know you're there, the Super Bowl does loom in the future. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. It's a win for the Falcons here as we say so long from Atlanta.